For you drop shippers out there, let me know if you've ever tried to explain the concept of drop shipping to someone and they thought it was either illegal, not possible, maybe a scam. Well, let's talk about how these drop shippers actually make their money. What does the business model include? What are some of the tactics, both maybe legal and gray area, that a lot of people tend to use inside of this industry? Hey, what's going on everyone? Hayden here coming back at you with a brand new video and in this one I do have to apologize for the lighting. One of my lights is broken right now, but you're not here for quality video footage of me. I know you want to see me. You're here for the title, for the reason we are in this video right now, which is going to talk about the specific ways that dropshippers actually make their money. There's a lot of different types of dropshippers out there, okay? So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about some of these ways that if you're dropshipping or doing any sort of e-commerce, you can start making more money. We're going to talk about some of the things that maybe Instagram doesn't portray to a lot of these people who claim to be drop shipping experts, okay? I myself, just for a little bit of quick credibility, I've been in this industry for over three and a half years, and about a year before that, so dragging it on to about four and a half years, I was doing all the ad buying, media buying on Instagram for multiple drop shipping companies that eventually moved to private labeling. So I have over four years of experience in this industry. I've generated tens of millions of dollars in sales for both myself and clients, not including student sales. So I've been doing this for a long time. I've built one of the biggest e-commerce YouTube channels. We have an amazing family here, by the way, if you're new, welcome. I hope you enjoy this video and anything else you choose to watch on the channel. If you're returning, thank you. We know, uh, you know, the community here is super strong and I really do appreciate that. So there's a lot of different stuff that goes on in drop shipping. And if you're not familiar with the space, let me be the first to tell you it is very shady. It is an industry where a lot of people get taken advantage of and a lot of people tend to you know, think that they can just roll one over on another person and maybe get an extra couple of dollars. I don't like that. I try to stay on like a different side of it and that's why I don't really you know, hang out with these drop shippers and most other people um, just because you, know, you gotta try and remove yourself from those situations because all of that stuff, all the people I've seen, and I've seen it over and over and over again, people who used to be my friend and whatever, who uh, you know try and do the short-term dropshipping where they just try and squeeze money, don't exactly do things the right way. It never seems to last, okay? And we're not in the business here for short-term. We're looking to build these long-term brands and make a lot of money doing so while serving a lot of customers in a positive way, okay? So if you're excited for this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you smash the like button down below, help it reach more people, and feel free to subscribe while you are down there. And of course, at any point in the video, feel free to drop a comment if you have a question about something, but make sure to make it to the end because I'm sure that it will answer almost all of your questions, especially about how people actually make money. So let's dive right in. There is a huge, 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 huge difference. I wish I had my phone on me to show you some like revenue numbers. There's a huge difference between someone posting a screenshot of their phone, holding up and saying like $60,000 this month. That's sales. There's expenses on that. In fact, I know people who post that and they actually lose money so they can sell a course or some other crap like that. That's not cool. That's the gray area stuff that I'm talking about. So there's a few different things to consider when talking about drop shipping. And if you are trying to get into the e-commerce world, drop shipping is probably the easiest way to do that. Meaning you don't have to buy inventory up front. So there's a few things to consider and I, I don't know exactly where to lead it off, but I'm going to start my conversation with you here. If you were running a store, just as an example, it's making $1,000 a day in sales, but no profit. Let's talk about how you can start making profit off of that. So these are a couple of the strategies that people can use to actually make profit. These are how people actually make money at dropshipping. So first of all, a lot of different products have different reactions with your marketing. So for example, if you're selling a water bottle versus a phone case versus some crazy hair extension product or whatever, these products are all sold at different price points and they have different levels of cost. So naturally, you know, some products take off and they make you a lot of money, you know, like five times your money. Others might be a little bit harder to make a ton of profit. So it really all comes down to the product. Now there's a few ways that you can always increase your profit margin. Again, we're here 
you're in the business of making profit. You wanna be able to make consistent profit every single day so that you can build consistency for yourself and build a cool company that either you can run for a long time or sell if you choose to do so, okay? So a few ways that you can start making profits off of an e-commerce store. One of my favorite ones inside of here is upsells. So consider this $1,000 a day example. If I'm selling, I don't know what example, let's, let's do these blue light glasses. I always keep using these because they're on my desk. Blue light glasses. If I'm selling these for $20, right? Well, if I'm breaking even and not making any profit, the only benefit that I have while breaking even is I'm probably getting credit card points. That's it. That's the only, you're not putting profit in your pocket. But if you create an upsell, where you sell something else. Right after someone buys these, let's say they pay 20 bucks, they put in their card info, you add a post-purchase upsell, which means right after they purchase, they get offered something else. Maybe you have replacement lenses or you know some sort of cool case or something to clean them with. Like mine are actually pretty dirty right now and I don't have anything to clean them with. So if you sell that for, let's say, seven dollars you have this whole cleaning kit and this and that and like replacement lenses well if that kit costs you two dollars you sell it for seven and you know 20 or 30 percent of people take it it's an extra five dollars profit on every single order out of those people that take it. So 20 to 30% of people, which is a very natural upsell percentage. A lot of people do take them, especially when your upsell costs less than the product they're purchasing. So that's one great way to start adding profit onto the back end. but there's more. Um, you guys might've seen in the last video I posted where I talked about why I don't use AliExpress anymore. The shipping speed was one of the biggest things I talked about. You have to make sure that your customers are getting good shipping times. It has to be under two weeks in my opinion. Well, you could have multiple shipping options for your customers. So let's say they're ordering these glasses, okay? And let's say on average it takes 18 days for your shipping from your supplier if you want their free shipping. But you could pay your supplier an extra dollar and have it get there in seven or eight days. Right? Well, now you could offer priority shipping or express shipping or whatever to your customer for $250 or maybe $3. And a lot of people will take it. You know, if you're selling a $20 product, it's very natural to have an extra shipping cost that would be 10 to 20% of that order value. You don't want shipping that's $10 on something that's 20 because nobody's going to take it. But if you're spending an extra dollar and you know half the customers take priority shipping because it's so much faster and you're making an extra dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars on that. Well, combine that with the upsell and now you're starting to make like seven or eight dollars. So you're starting to kind of stack things up, right? You see where I'm going with this? There's extra ways to make profit. So now you've already built in, you know, potentially, you know, a 10% profit margin, which might not seem that high and it's not. Again, every product will react differently. You can even do these strategies with products that are making you a four or five X return. You're just gonna make extra money, right? So you, know, you wanna focus on just increasing the profit margin in every way you possibly can. And 10% might not seem like a lot, that'd be like a worst case scenario. But at the end of the day, if you're running a business and you're making a 10% margin, it makes sense to keep running because as long as you can keep scaling it and it stays at 10%, every $100,000 you make, you profit 10,000. So just go make millions, right? Scale it up, run the business, and you're getting credit card points along the way from your advertising spend. Now, the second way that people actually profit when drop shipping is one of the things that's been the king. It's known as the king of marketing, and it has been for probably about 15 years, and that is email marketing. So if you haven't taken advantage of this this is something you have to already have sales and customers coming in for so if you have maybe 50 people a day ordering this but you have a couple hundred people a day coming to your website checking out but not quite finishing the checkout and they decide not to purchase for whatever reason you can build out an automated sequence that you build one time you might spend five hours creating it but it'll run forever where it's an automated sequence to bring back customers who have already purchased or uh, excuse me who've already checked out but have not purchased your product yet that is what would be called an abandoning cart sequence. You can and should also follow up with people who purchased a product. Try to sell them something else. Try to sell them that cleaning kit, for an example, if you're selling this. Try to sell them a different pair or like bigger frames or you know a cool carrying case, whatever type of product you can think of. Try and sell to customers, ideally, who already had a good experience. This is why I focus so much on my shipping time, having good customer support and all that, because the most likely customer to buy from you 
is the one who's already purchased before. And if they had a great experience, the odds of them coming back are like super, super high. So you'll see your returning customer rate spike on your Shopify dashboard if you're using Shopify, which again, it doesn't really matter what platform you decide to use, okay? So um, I know my mic has actually failed during this video, so hopefully this one's doing good. I apologize about that. I don't know what's going on. But that is the second way that people tend to make a lot of money with dropshipping, okay? And that's just something, again, you can add on. It's extra. It's an extra, you know, 3% here, 5% there. And doing all these things, it stacks up. So the third way that people profit is a very situational one. This example I want to give you, um, I, I could give you an example here in a moment, but that is different sized variant pricing. So you're manipulating the pricing. And let me give you an example. If I'm selling a t-shirt, okay, this is actually, a, I think my buddy Ricky Gutierrez gave this to me like a long time ago from his clothing line. But if you're selling a t-shirt, right, everybody has a different size. There's small, there's medium, there's large, there's extra large, XL, et cetera, et cetera. So you could maybe, let's say your cost on this t-shirt is $10 for a small, and it's $12 for a medium, and $14 for a large, so it's $2 every category. Well, you could make your, uh, your small shirt 25, and your medium 30, your large 35. You could do $5 increments when your cost is only two. So if you can add in any sort of additional variation on a product and charge more than your cost is, that's a great way to make extra money. So for an example, I know someone who was selling Frisbees. Yeah, just like the Frisbees you, you throw, right? They were selling well for whatever reason, he did a good job. But there was two different types, okay? They, they were all the same Frisbee, but the colors. There was like the glossy colors, and then he had matte Frisbees, which was cool, like matte black, you know, like a better, a different, more cool, in my opinion, looking color. Well, it didn't cost him a single penny more between the colors. However, he said, uh, from the customer's perspective, it's an extra 99 cents if you want a matte finish on your Frisbee. And like half of the people were taking it because it looked so cool and unique. So there's an extra dollar every single order. And if you're getting, you know, 300, 400, 500 orders a day, I think he was doing about 400, at least two to 300 people are taking that option. There's two to $300 a day extra in profit. That's 6,000 to $9,000 a month. That's a full-time salary times two in America. You're talking like $80,000 a year to 100,000. I mean, it's a lot of money. So little things like that, and that's just, again, one strategy. Okay, and I'm gonna give you guys another bonus one here that I wanted to talk about on, again, adding profit on this side of things, which is always key. Um, this is something where you'll see a lot of drop shippers doing this if you know where to look. And it gets a little shady in this space as well, but that would be selling a store, okay? So some people might build stores, maybe they're not that great at e-commerce, they don't have to be to make money, but maybe they're not great at e-commerce. Maybe they built a store that's doing $30,000 a month revenue, but it's roughly breaking even, maybe a slight loss, break even, or a slight you know profit, but it's right around break even. Well, there's people, myself included, who purchase these businesses. These ones that are operating at a slight loss, break even, or slight profit, maybe they slowed down, or for whatever reason someone wants to sell and they weren't doing too well. Um, well, someone can sell a brand that maybe if they've had a store going for three months doing 30,000 each month with no profit, I'd still give them probably $10,000 for it. So some people can just pump out these stores, you know, build like two or three a month. Well, there you go, you can make 10, 20, $30,000 a month just flipping stuff that you build that might not necessarily be making money. And now the person who purchases it, I know some people whose strategy is to then take those stores, get them really profitable, scale the revenue, and then just sell it again. You know, it's kind of like this cycle and there's multiple different places. Um, there's something called Flippa, there's the Shopify exchange, and there's a couple of private websites where you have to spend a few hundred dollars to list it. But you know, if it's a serious thing you're trying to sell, you definitely could sell it and make a lot of money. Again, I know a lot of people who make a lot of money doing that. It's a cool strategy for sure. So I hope that makes sense. And again, I'll summarize this for you here in a moment. But those are some ways that people make profit by drop shipping. Even if they're at zero dollars in profit on something, you could literally plug those things in and tomorrow you could have a 10 or a 15% margin. And that makes all the difference because I know a lot of people, and this might be your goal, let me know if it is, you might be trying to quit their job or maybe you know validate taking a year off of school between high school and college or whatever the situation is. They don't need a ton of money. 
But by making an extra $100 a day and being able to actually profit and be in the profit consistently, that can make all the difference. I mean, $3,000 a month really does go a long way and it can even give you some profit to reinvest back into your business to help grow it. So that's why I wanted to make sure to put this out for free. I know it's you know something people might include in a course and like go through strategies, but you know try implementing this stuff. It's stuff that works for me. I plug this in on all my different stores and brands. I've seen a lot of people do it and I've seen it make a whole lot of money, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got some value out of it, I would greatly appreciate it if you considered smashing the like button down below. Help this reach more people so they can see this content, get some help, and start building out their e-commerce stores as well. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comment section down below. Just make sure to smash the like and subscribe button while you're down there. With that being said, I post on here three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so make sure to check out the resources linked in the description and tune back in for the next video, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace.